Worries and anxiety is a big part of my life. Uh, started about 10 years ago. I didn't want to live anymore. Um, I thought the world would be better off without me. I thought that maybe if I was to take my own life, I could be with my child. Uh, but I was very suicidal at the time. As a child, it was getting bullied and not being able to say how I felt to people. To talk about the problems I went through as a child and everything that happened, I didn't want to. My worries and anxieties started um, around the passing of my father in uh, 2013. It affected me in my day-to-day -day life, it affected my job, it affected relationships. I didn't talk to my friends or family about my problems that were going on. So the easiest thing for me was to not be here. Uh, it was a Sunday night, I think it was. And I knew I didn't want to be here. And I was planning that night to do something. Thoughts going through my mind were um, how I'd be judged by people. You know, real bad thoughts about, you know, getting out of this life. My worries and anxieties probably started a long time ago, but the most recent was last year when my cousin committed suicide. It was very hard to discuss my problems at that moment in time as I couldn't even string a sentence together. I felt very alone. I had a lot of people around me. I know a lot of people cared, but just something instinctively in me just wouldn't open up. I never spoke about it with anyone. The problems have kept me all my life. There's a, a stigma attached to around how a man should appear and what he should say. There's an ideal view of a man and I think people need to break the, the cycle of that and just not conform to that. I know a lot of men that have struggled generally, um, especially in the UK, I think um, not enough men talk about the problems. The first step towards helping myself was joining down this man club. The only time I first spoke about my problems was when I first went to Andy's man club. I first sought help through Andy's man club. It's saved my life really. My name's Luke Campbell and I'm the founder of Andy's man club. I believe male mental health in our country has for a long time now been stigmatised. I know it's been out of three stigmas, weakness, burden and embarrassment and I feel that's a lot of reason why people don't want to speak. They feel weak to speak, they feel like they'll burden others and with the lad culture we have with banter they feel like they're embarrassed to give any vulnerability away. To any man out there watching this, it's not weak to talk, it's not weak to ask for help. Uh, steps that I've taken to resolve my issues. I've uh, started talking a lot more to people. The importance of talking about how you feel is, is phenomenal. Talking has really opened me up to people, my family, my friends. It's turned my life around. I'm happier than I have been in my entire life. No matter what, I talk about everything now. I won't keep anything in at all. If I were going to give any advice, it's talk to whether it be your loved ones, professionals, uh, your friends, and if you don't have any friends, reach out, you know, if if you are willing to reach out, people are willing to help. Getting guys in a room and opening up and giving people hope, giving people a lifeline, that's what Andy's Man Club's all about. My advice to any man out there is that you will get through this. At times you may think that there is no other way out, that that relationship breakdown, that debt you're in, or whatever issues you're struggling with, that you can't get through that, but trust me, you can. I've dealt with enough people to know now that that cloud will pass. That roller coaster your own way just seems like you're going down, 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 will take a turn and you'll get back up. you just got to look up and know that the brighter times are coming and I guarantee, reach out, it's okay to talk.